All right, welcome back to Basic Training 101. This is part two of three. Uh, my name is Matt Hickey, and I'm excited that you're here uh, to learn more about how to work your Advocare business. So hopefully you watched part one. That would be ideal before watching part two. Uh, but just to kind of recap what we covered last time, went over some of our team resources, things that you have at your fingertips to make sure that you can build a business uh, that can pay you very, very well. We also talked about what type of people to look for uh, when bringing them into your business. And then also defining your purpose and goals, because remember, your purpose is what's gonna get you out of bed in the morning to do the things that are necessary to be successful in Advocare. We also talked about mastering the fundamentals, taking the product every day, talking to people, and most importantly, following up with them. We also shared how to package your story, and that was part of your homework. So I hope you uh, did your homework. I hope your story uh, is a lot easier for you now to share without having to read anything, without having to think too hard, because that's really the goal of packaging your story, is to make it very simple for when somebody asks you, hey, what's Advocare? You have something very quick, concise, and grabbing uh, that they want to learn more about. And then we shared real quickly the success system process, uh, but just a basic overview. And that's actually what we're going to be covering today is the success system. But first, let's talk about how to begin a conversation, uh, because that's maybe one of the, the hardest things. You know, maybe someone's not coming up to you uh, asking you, hey, what's Advocare? Uh, it's you actually finding an opportunity to talk to somebody. Okay, some of the things that you want to look for, and we did mention this a little bit on the last one, but listen for keywords and phrases, you know, like, oh man, I'm so tired, or I hate my job, or you know, my coworkers are so hard to get along with. You know, all those keywords and phrases, those are things that you're going to be listening for so that you can interject the Advocare opportunity and when it's done for you. You know, but the biggest thing is listen to people. You know, when you're talking to somebody, they should actually be talking 80% of the time. You should be listening that time and only talking 20% of the time. And when you're talking, typically it should be asking questions. And those questions should be centered around what you see there on the, the screen and, and what's actually uh, referred to as form. Family, occupation, recreation, and message. So, you know, ask them about their family life. How many kids do they have? Um, yeah, how old are they? What do they like to do? Obviously, occupations. What do you do for a living? Do you like it? You know, what about your job? Don't you like or do you like? Recreation. What do you like to do outside of family and work? What do you like to do for fun? And then you're going to share your message of what Advocare can do to help them. So you're looking for things, you know, we talked about this in the first one. We're looking for people who are kind of disgusted with their certain circuit or their current circumstances. And we're trying to position Advocare as a way out of those issues. Okay, and that's exactly what you're doing here. So start looking for ways to connect with people. Now, as a side note, just know that when you're talking to somebody, and let's say, you know, they're giving you every single cue in the book of they are disgusted with their life and they want change. And you start sharing Advocare and what it's done for you and they change the subject. One thing to note is we are not salesmen, okay? We simply share a passion, something that we're passionate about, something we know can help people. And we hope that people gravitate towards that and want to learn more. But the reality is it's, it's not everyone's time. And so your job is to share what you know. If they decide to go off on a tangent and, you know, talk about something else, don't try and pull them back. If the conversation naturally gets back to it, that's fine. But don't push a conversation because all you're going to do is you're, you're going to push that person away. Okay, so you have to love people where they are. And understand that not every conversation is going to go the way that you want. But as long as you plant that seed, that's what this is about. Plant the seeds. Water them every now and then, and then watch what happens. 
Because not everyone jumps the first time you share your story. It may take several weeks, several months, or even several years. And we have had people, we've been doing Advocare now a little over five years. We have had people who have been watching from day one who are now coming back around asking, hey, I see you guys have been doing this for a while now. Seems like you're kind of successful with it. Let's talk. Okay. You'd be amazed at how many times that happens. But it's all about at least starting the conversation and sharing your story. So don't be afraid to share. Don't be afraid to look for those opportunities and jump at them. Real quick story here. When we were fairly new uh, at the business, we were in Houston, Texas. Um, it was, I want to say, right after successful. And we were walking around the mall. And I kid you not, two girls immediately, I mean, right behind us, we could hear their conversation like they were talking to us. They were talking about weight loss and these diets that they tried and they didn't get results and they were frustrated. And I remember Tanya and I holding hands and I'm squeezing. We look at each other and we're like, here's a perfect opportunity. I know that's what we were thinking in our heads, but neither one of us did anything. And I regret that to this day. And obviously you can tell because five years later, I'm sharing that story with you. I kick myself every day for not turning around and at least sharing the story and sharing what's possible because I could have changed somebody's lives that, that day. But instead I chose not to, I chose, um, you know, the easy way out, which is just to not say anything, uh, that was comfortable back then. You know, but as we've shared and as we've seen the success that people have had, I wish I could go back in time and do that all over again because I absolutely would. So my purpose for sharing that with you is don't do that. If you hear something, all that can happen is they can say, hey, you know what? Not for me. I'm not interested. That's it. What's so bad about that? You just say, okay, yeah, I appreciate you listening to me and, you know, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully we'll see you around. That's all you have to say. Nobody's going to feel hurt. Nobody's going to be upset. It's just not their time. Okay, but don't miss an opportunity when it presents itself to you. So how do you invite them to hear more? So you've shared your story. Um, they said, hey, you know, kind of sounds like a, a good thing. Well, hopefully you have an Impact Magazine with you, and hopefully you have some sparks so you can sample them. You can share a few stories in the Impact Magazine. Uh, but if not, you know, ask to get their contact information. Now, big question of should I have business cards always comes up. Uh, personally, I haven't had business cards. Uh, I don't see the need for them. I mean, they are nice to have on occasion. I kind of think to myself, oh, it would have been nice to have a card right now. Uh, but the reality is I always have my phone on me. So if I want to be able to follow up with somebody, I'll just simply say, hey, you know what? I don't have a card on me, but let me text you my number. That way you have mine and I'll have yours as well. And then we can just follow up from that. How does that sound? And I, I kid you not, most people will do that. It, I haven't had anybody say, no, you know what? Uh, we'll just, uh, maybe we'll see you later. No, they give you your number. Um, and you're able to follow up with them now. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to invite them to hear more. Get their contact information however you can. Don't rely on them to call you. Because even if they have all intentions of doing that, life gets in the way and they forget. Okay, and then sample Spark and give the Impact Magazine to them. But don't just hand an Impact Magazine to somebody. Make sure you're highlighting a few stories in there and maybe uh, dog earing a few of the pages for them to read later. Okay, now I do use the Impact Magazines as a quote unquote business card. On the back of it, I just put a label with my information on it. So that can act as a business card. Okay, but don't be shy. Like I shared that story, don't do what we did. You know, that was just shyness. That was being afraid. Don't be afraid. Um, make sure that you don't just give them your contact info without getting theirs. And don't give away product without follow-up. Okay, and let them know, hey, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to call you. Just check in and see what you thought. Okay, see how you like the spark. Does that sound like a plan to you? And They'll either say yes or they'll say, hey, you know what? I probably won't get to drinking this until Wednesday. Why don't you follow up with me on Wednesday? There you go. Now you've got an open invitation to give them a call, and they're going to be expecting you. 
Okay, so don't miss these opportunities and don't forget to have these tools with you. Your Impact Magazine and your Spark are tools to build your business. Ideally, you have some water bottles with you and you can make the Spark for them right then and there, but at least have some packets of Spark with you to share. Now, undoubtedly, you're going to have questions if you haven't had any yet that kind of stumped you that you weren't sure about. Well, in Advocare, we have what's called a bulletproof shield. And the bulletproof shield is just your way of protecting yourself against any question that you can't answer. One of the big ones is, well, what's in so-and-so? Okay, so let's take Spark, for example. Okay, so somebody comes up to you and say, hey, you know, I see you drinking that Spark. What's in that? Okay, the best thing to do is, you see the answer there, hey, I don't know about that, but what I do know is, when I drink this, man, I have energy for hours and I feel great. I get more done and I don't have any crash. You're going to love this stuff. Okay, done. Now, they may say, great, let me try it. Or they may say, yeah, well, really, so what's in it? And go right back to it. Say, hey, seriously, I really don't know about that. But what I do know is that, you know, Advocare has a scientific and medical advisory board. Some of the top doctors in their field on nutrition and toxicology and they're the ones that formulate this. So I don't know the ingredients, but I know if they're putting it in here, it's gonna do what it says it does. Just like I shared my story, it works. Done. Okay, you protected yourself there. Now, let's say, yeah, 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 okay, whatever. So, you know, what else about it? I mean, come on, is it really that good? Then you can go on and say, yeah, actually, it really is good because Drew Brees has been using Advocare products uh, for about 12 years now. He's actually the um, uh, Advocare's national spokesperson, and he's been having sparks since day one. I mean, he loves this stuff, and I know if it's good enough for Drew Brees, it's gonna be good enough for me. Done. Now, let's say they take it a step further, and they say, well, what if I don't like it? Great, we have a satisfaction guarantee. Look, if you purchase a box of Spark, you try one and you don't like it, call up customer service. They'll refund you your money and you can send it back. No strings attached. We have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Done. Okay, so you can see how with any question you get, you can handle it using the Bulletproof Shield. And let's talk about the big question. This sounds like one of those pyramid schemes. Yep. You're going to get that question. You go right to that same answer. Hey, I don't know about that, but what I do know is I get I have gotten great results with these products. Just last month, I made $12,000 and I'm helping several of my teammates earn $1,000 plus just part time. Uh, and there's no monthly minimum, there's no auto ship feature. So, you know, I'm not sure what you mean by a pyramid scheme, um, but, you know, from my experience, we're just helping people feel better and earn some extra income. Done. That may be it. And again, if they want to come back more, you can talk about, you know, Drew Brees, Jason Witten, Rich Froning, uh, being the official sports drink of the of Major League Soccer. Uh, you know, all the different things that sponsorships that we have going on. Uh, if this was a pyramid scheme, yeah, I don't think that would be happening. Um, so, and, and people like the doctors we have on our sign med board would not be affiliated with Advocare if it was any kind of scheme, pyramid scheme or any scheme uh, in general. And of course, there's that 100% satisfaction guarantee that's always there. You know, so all you have to do is listen to their question and then use the bulletproof shield to protect yourself. Don't leave home without the bulletproof shield. Okay, now, when questions are raised, just expect them as part of the process. It is what it is. I mean, rarely are you going to have somebody where you're like, dude, Spark is awesome. You got to try it. And they're like, cool, mix it up. Okay, you'll get that. But a lot of times people want to ask what's in it. Okay, so that's just part of the process. But pay attention and just show respect. Don't get defensive. That's probably the worst thing you can do is get defensive when somebody asks a question. They're just, they're concerned. They want to know more about it. So smile, maintain eye contact, and then share the Bulletproof Shield.
okay? And get good at practicing these common objections and the questions that we get. So, you know, what's in this product? Is this one of those pyramid things? And I've tried everything else. Is this really gonna work for me? Okay, practice answering those because those three right there are probably the ones you're gonna get asked the most. Okay, so get good at answering those questions using the Bulletproof Shield. So I shared the success system in the previous training. You know, we go from one-on-ones, just you meeting with your prospect, sharing your story, which you've practiced, which you should have down now, then moving to a two-on-one or a three-way call with your sponsor, then to a mixer with your sponsor, then to a large event or a business opportunity meeting with local distributors, and then success school. And you can build a very powerful, lucrative business implementing the success system. So let's look at these a little bit more in depth. So one-on-ones, you're just inviting your prospect to hear more. Your goal with a one-on-one -on -one is to get a three-way call or a two-on meeting with your sponsor. Okay, that's it. And the best way to do that, once you share your story and they say, yeah, you know what, that sounds pretty cool. Um, so what do we do next? The, and I, I, want, I shared this on the last thing too, but you really have to get good at saying, hey, Here's what we do next. I'm going to get you on the phone with my buddy, Matt. He's the one who's been helping me. He's going to be able to help you too. And also answer any questions that maybe I can at this point. It, that's it. Hey, here's what we do next. That's your job when you're doing a one-on-one. -on -one. Invite your prospect to hear more and then say, here's what we do next. Okay, two-on-ones, three-way calls. Pretty much the same thing. Just one is done in person, one is done on the phone. Okay, your sponsor is going to be brought in as third-party credibility because let's be honest, some of the people that you're going to start talking to immediately are those people closest to you, people that know all the dirt on you. You know, they've got all the goods. Uh, so sometimes those are the hardest people to convince to join you. So bringing in somebody that they don't know that has success in Advocare that can share some stories and maybe paint some vision for them, that adds a lot of credibility to you. Okay, so your job is just to introduce your sponsor and then you're muting your phone or you're just sitting there and allowing your sponsor to talk until they bring you back into the conversation. I know we get tempted as a distributor while we're listening to our sponsor talk to our prospect to want to say something more, but trust me, that is the last thing you want to do. It's going to throw your sponsor off and it's going to change the course of the conversation and you don't want to do that. Okay, mixers are just small group gatherings at home uh, or, you know, somewhere where you can gather uh, just friends, family. Uh, this isn't a big event. can be anywhere from one to five. We've had them where it's 20 people have showed up. But on average, it's just a few people and you're able to share Advocare with them. Now, the large group events, these are going to be events that are typically held by local leaders or corporate staff. And okay, these are larger events. Uh, letting your prospects see more, the bigger picture of what Advocare is about. And then, of course, their success goal. It's a national training event that's held two times uh, a year by the corporate staff. They do an amazing job with that. We'll talk a little bit more uh, about that in a second here. But each component of the success system here is absolutely vital to your Advocare business. You don't want to skip over things. You want to use every part of this success system to build your business. So one-on-ones, two-on-ones, and three-way calls. Like I said, use third-party credibility to build your business and to allow people to see that it's more than just you. You're also gonna learn from your sponsor. You know, this is on-the-job training. Uh, so doing these meetings like this is how you wanna build your business. You don't wanna say, to your sponsor, hey, I got this person interested in the challenge. Will you call them and talk to them? No, I'm not going to do it. And for any of you who have done that to me, I'm sure you've gotten that response. 99% of the time, you're getting a response, sorry, you need to schedule this so that you can be on the call as well. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Okay. I'm not going to build your business for you. Your sponsor is not going to build your business for you. 
you need to take some action. Okay, so you have to be on these calls or in these meetings with your sponsor. Now, if you absolutely can't, and it's going to be weeks before you can even think about getting together with your sponsor, then by all means, yes, we'll do it. But if it's just a matter of you're scared to do it or, you know, whatever it may be, you need to get focused because your job on a three-way call or a two-on-one is very small. Okay, it's really about your sponsor connecting with your prospect. Okay, and it will help you move your business fast. I can tell you from personal experience, when I was trying to do it on my own, there was a lot of frustration. Okay, but when I added Matt Warren into the success system and I said, hey, you know, here's what we do next. We're going to talk to my buddy Matt. He's helping me. We had a lot more success. Okay, so it's all about building relationships, not only you and your prospect, but you and other people in Advocare, along with your sponsor. Okay, let them, or your prospect, let them see that there's more than just you in Advocare. So let's talk about the role of each person in a one on, in a two on one or a three way call. Okay, now as the distributor, your job is really just to introduce your sponsor. So here's um, just a, an example of what you can say. You know, whether you're in person or you're on the phone, it's, hey, John, uh, I want to thank you for getting on this call. I want to introduce you to my friend, Matt. You know, Matt's been very successful with Advocare, and he's the one that's been helping me. So I wanted to take just a few minutes to allow you both to chat and get some of your questions answered. So, Matt, I'll let you go ahead and take it away. Your job is done. As a distributor, you put your phone on mute or you sit back and you allow your sponsor to do the rest of the conversation. Now, you may be the one that is acting as a sponsor and helping one of your distributors with a three-way call. So your distributor introduces you, and now your job is to edify the distributor. And what that means is, you know, build up the distributor. Say, hey, you know what? It's awesome that you're with so-and-so. I mean, even though we've been coaching him, and he's been doing amazing. And uh, we're really excited to have him on our team. And, you know, hopefully you decide to do the same thing. But first, let me ask you this, okay? So you edify the distributor and now you're switching into making the connection, okay? So here's uh, one thing that I do like to say as well uh, when I'm talking to somebody on a three-way call. I'll be like, hey, John, great to meet you. You know, first, let me just tell you that my job today is not to sell you on Advocare or try to convince you that, you know, you're crazy if you don't do it. My job is just to share what it's done for us and what's possible for you. Does that sound good? And of course, you can be like, oh, yeah, cool. It, but what that does is it does two things. One, it breaks down the barrier on them because a lot of people put up a wall. They're not sure exactly what this call is about or what you're going to be doing. Uh, so that kind of just relaxes everything. But it's also going to relax things on your end because that's you to even telling yourself that, hey, you're not there to sell it. You're just there to share. Okay, so just share what it's done. It makes it easier for you. Okay, so now you're really getting get into the next step, which is asking questions, making that connection. You know, how do you guys know each other? Now, most likely, your sponsor has, or your distributor has already told you how they know this person, but that's okay. Still ask that question. Your job is to get that prospect talking to you. Okay, make a connection and build rapport. So that's a great question. And then move on to the form questions, you know, family, occupation, what they like to do for fun, so recreation, and then you're going to share the message. Okay, so that's when you're going to share your story. And then you're going to ask some more questions. That's what we do. So, John, you know, after hearing my story and, you know, the other stories that I shared, what are your thoughts at this point? And then just stop. Wait for them to answer because that's how you're going to know which way to take the call. Okay, so as a sponsor, again, you edify the distributor. You make a connection by asking questions, and you can use, um, you know, that first little intro part that I shared. Uh, ask more questions. Share your story. Ask a question about, you know, what they liked about it, um, and then – move on to the next step. So after all this, and you've asked a question, you know, what are your thoughts at this point? They're gonna have one of three responses. 
they're either going to say, you know what, I like what I hear. I really just want to start with the product. Or they say, you know what, products sound great, but I'm definitely interested in the business as well. Or they may say, you know what, it's just not right for me. It's not the right time. And that's great. But those are, that's the only three ways that it can go. Okay, so what do you do? If it's a product, great. Let me hand you back over to Mike. I know Mike has a lot of knowledge on the products and he's going to be able to get you set up. But before I go, is there anything else that I can help answer for you? You know, that's all you have to do. If you know your distributor is well versed in the product and uh, can absolutely help somebody, you know, order a 24 day challenge and take them through that process, you don't need to spend more time on there. That's their job. Okay, now, if Mike is going to be brand new to the company and he just enrolled and you just got on a three-way call, um, then you're gonna stay on the phone. You're gonna ask some more questions about their goals and their budget, and then you're gonna decide what products are right for them and walk them through the process of ordering. Okay, so that's what you do when you have a product user. Somebody says, hey, business sounds awesome, let's do this. Then you're gonna say, great, I'm so happy that you'll be joining us. Okay, and that's key to say, I'm so happy you'll be joining us because you're solidifying that they're going to be joining your team even before they've ever paid the $79. And really all they've said is, I'm interested in the business. Okay, You need to put it in their heads that they're already part of this team. And now you go, so here's what we do first. We need to get you enrolled. So at $79, are you in front of a computer? And if they are, walk them through the enrolling process. If they're not, ask them when they will be. And then you're going to schedule a call with them to walk them through that uh, enrolling process. Okay. Now you'll notice that I didn't say, well, if Mike is, you know, well versed at getting people enrolled, you can go ahead and, you know, just hang up the phone and allow Mike to enroll them. Personally, I would recommend that you do that. Okay. Make sure Mike's still on the phone with you, but walk them through it. That way, Mike is seeing how you do it, even if he's well versed in it. It just helps. You're continuing that conversation, okay? And then you're gonna share advisor with strength. And that's probably one of the most important things. So recommend certain products for them to get started on, but then share advisor okay? and the benefits of getting to advisor. Okay, advisor is a key level in AdvoCare, 40% discount, all five ways that we get paid. You need to share that with them so they understand really what they're going to have to do. Are they going to have to work their way to advisor or can they do an advisor order? Okay, and then next, ask, hey, who do you know that we can repeat a call like this with? Because most likely they're already thinking of several people who could benefit from the products or from the opportunity. So have them start telling you right then and there who those people are and see if you can get on the phone with them ASAP, even after you guys hang up. Like, hey, I'm going to be hanging out for a while. I've got another hour. So why don't you call a few of those people and let's see if we can set up a three-way call. There you go. That's how you build a business fast. Now, the last thing that they may say, they may say, hey, you know what? Not for me. That's fine. You got to love people where they are. Thank them for their time and just let them know that you're here for them. If they ever have any questions or want to move forward, um, you know, you understand that it's not for everyone. Okay. And that's okay. Um, so then you can just end the conversation there. But again, it is about building the relationship. You don't want to ruin a relationship just because somebody says no. Okay, you will most likely, unless you're special, get more no's than you do yeses. And that's okay. Okay, that check is in the mail. It's on its way to you. Uh, that's how it is for every distributor. Uh, so don't allow no's to get you frustrated or for you to lash out at somebody just because they said no. Okay, no's are perfectly fine. That just moves you one step closer to the next yes. All right, let's, so let's talk about mixers. All right, mixers are a great way to build your business, to introduce AdvoCare to a large number of people in your living room so it's a nice, comfortable atmosphere. And, you know, you're just bringing friends and family. And if you have distributors on your team, invite your distributors to bring their prospects. So now you're working for them and you're able to impact a lot of people in one time instead of having to do multiple three-way calls, okay? Three-way calls are great, but if you can get 10 people in a living room, you're gonna manage your time so much better. 
So here are some tools that you want to make sure you have. Your Tools for Success DVD, your Impact Magazine, and then on your Advocare microsite, um, under the Tools and Resources, there are some great documents that you can print out and have handy so that you can share that dur excuse me, during your mixer. Okay, so make sure you have those. Um, make sure you have a 24-day challenge to display, and then also make sure that you have Spark with you. Okay, now, during the pre-mixer, ensure that you have uh, some music playing. You now, when we say music, um, make sure that it is appropriate for the people that are there and, uh, you know, makes you look good. Uh, and also, make sure that everyone is getting sparked, okay? Nobody leaves a mixer without putting spark in their bodies. And don't ask, hey, would you like a spark? Just be like, hey, what flavor do you like, fruit punch or orange? Let them decide on that. Now, if somebody just, you know, if me is like, look, I can't do any kind of energy drinks this late, I'll be up all night. Make sure you have some rehydrate on hand to that. And mix your spark or the rehydrate in a mixer bottle without ice first, and then pour it over uh, ice that's in a glass and use a straw, okay? There's a couple things that that does. One, it looks nicer. Okay, so that's appealing. But also, when you do it in a glass and you do it with a straw, people drink it a lot faster, so they're gonna feel it faster, and that is key. And then take time to talk with new prospects during the mixer. Okay, this is not about huddling with your best friend and, and just having a you know conversation about what you did yesterday. Okay, the pre-mixer, the most important parts of a mixer are the pre-mixer and the post-mixer. It's not the actual mixer itself. Okay, believe it or not, the actual mixer is not as big of a deal. It's the pre-mixer. It's building those relationships and finding out what people's needs are. Because during the mixer, you can kind of use some of these tools um, to reach specific people that are there in the living room. Okay, so take the time to talk with your new prospects. Now, during the mixer, you're going to use your Impact Magazine or the Solutions for Your Success DVD. And uh, I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration on that. Okay, here we are. We're back. All right, so you have your Impact Magazine. Any of you who have probably come to our mixers in the past um, have seen that we use a PowerPoint presentation. I'm comfortable with PowerPoint presentation. I like it. I can change it up. Um, it keeps me on track. Uh, and... I don't know, that's just what I did. And I continue to do that, but what we've realized is that it's not something that we can duplicate through our team because not everyone is comfortable with a PowerPoint presentation. Or maybe somebody doesn't have a computer that they can hook it up to, or you know, the TV that you're going over your prospects house, they don't have an HDMI cable and you're stuck and you're like, okay, well shoot, what do I do now? That's what the Impact Magazine is for. So all of our mixers going forward, are using the Impact Magazine and the Solutions for Your Success DVD. These two tools. I don't need anything else when I go to a mixer. Now, I may choose to bring multiple copies of the Impact Magazine because ideally, when you're hosting a mixer, you have a lot of these on hand. And what you'll want to do is give one of these to everyone once they sit down and you're ready to begin, do not hand these out when somebody walks in the door. Okay, this is not meant for the pre-mixer. This is meant for during the mixer. Okay, so, so key, some key things, and I'm not going to go through an actual mixer with you, but what I do want to show is how I would use the Impact Magazine. So, of course, uh, if you're the host, you're welcoming everyone uh, to your home, thanking them for their time, letting them know that you're going to respect their time as well. Uh, that we're just going to spend the next, you know, half hour or so just sharing what Advocare is and what it can do for you. Now, I like to make a little joke, and I always say, you know, we're just going to take the next two hours or so to talk about Advocare and, you know, what it can do for you. Just try and get some laughs, okay, and then just go back and say, no, no, seriously, it's just going to be about a half hour or so. Uh, we want to respect your time, okay? So the first thing that you do is say, look, we want to share who Advocare is first and what makes Advocare different. So you can open up the Impact Magazine. And bam, who do we have? Our man, Charlie Regas. 
Okay, so just share a couple things with Charlie Reyes and three bullet points. Um, you know, Advocare was founded back in 93. Um, Charlie Reyes founded it, uh, you know, to, to have the best products on the market and through direct sales. And that's why you're not going to find it on the shelves of your local uh, grocery stores. But the other thing that, you know, Charlie wanted was he wanted to give people like you and I the opportunity to do something extraordinary with their lives and make extra income. Okay, that's all you have to share on here. You can go a little bit more into detail. I know friends of ours like to share the guiding principles, you know, because these are the principles that Advocare is founded by. And the first one is honor God through our family, friends, sorry, our faith, family, and friends. How many companies, when they're, gui you know, their guiding principles were set up, that that's their first one? Okay, they talk about products and the market down here at the bottom. Everything else is about being a better person and helping people, making people, you know, live better lives. That's what the uh, the principles are all about. So that's something that you can definitely share with people. Okay. Now, of course, Charlie wasn't uh, a doctor. He wasn't a scientist. He wasn't formulating the products. So then we move on to the sign med board. Okay. Now, if everyone has an impact magazine, I would say. Yeah, turn to page 18, and you know this is our sign med board. These are the people that formulate our products. Okay, now I highlight typically two people. I'll highlight Dr. Dudrick, which if you don't know who he is, he came up with TPN, which is the nutrition that goes into the IV. Kind of a big deal. Um, you know, he did that in the back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s, uh, and he's known now for saving millions and millions of lives because of his invention. Now, he's always been on the preventive side of medicine. What Advocare allows all of these doctors to do is to be on the re, uh, preventative side instead of the reactive side. Okay, Dr. Kramer, uh, professor of kinesiology, he is actually the past president of the NSCA, which is one of the top um, personal training certification courses out there. Um, he has written a book for so many, um, you know, physical fitness related books. Uh, so this is, he is a uh, renowned scientist on athletic training and nutrition. Uh, so this is somebody that we like to highlight. But there's so many other doctors in here. Just read through their bios, and you may want to hit somebody up like Gail Cressy, who's a registered dietitian over at the Cleveland Clinic. You know, just people who are currently working in their hospitals and universities, they would not associate themselves with a company that was not reputable or products that don't work. And they're the ones that are making sure that the products are safe, and do exactly what they say they're going to do. Okay, and then from there, you know, of course, we have endorsers. Okay, you can share some of the stories of our endorsers. You know, if you like uh, Jason Witten, if you have some soccer fans out there, you can talk about MLS. We've got Philip Rivers, some more football. Uh, we've got Trevor Bain with the number six car. And of course, Rich Froning and our national spokesperson, Drew Brees. So you have all those in there. But you know, the reason that they choose to trust Advocare is because of this informed choice. You know, that is something that sets Advocare apart. Advocare tests for over 200 banned substances and impurities through a third party company called Informed Choice. This is the top um, research and development uh, company in the world who tests for banned substances. And they test for everything from the NCAA level all the way up to the Olympics. So I know if it's good enough for the Olympic athlete, it's gonna be good enough for me. Okay, now from there, we share stories. Okay, now hopefully you have some stories uh, in the living room, uh, maybe you have your own, so share that story. But if you don't, share some of your friends in the Impact Magazine. Now. One thing that I will say is these are your friends, okay? No matter what, if you know them or not, these are all your friends because we're all friends in Advocare. So you can say, hey, you know, there's this girl, Melody Schmutz. She actually lost 102 pounds. It all started with the 24-day challenge. She feels absolutely amazing. And, you know, we even have Spencer here. He's down 100 pounds, and he started with the 24-day challenge as well. You know, so you can go through these stories and see – you know, who maybe it relates to. Maybe you have uh, a couple that's a little older, okay? They lost a combined of 110 pounds. So some great stories in there. 
Now, oh, once you share that, then you can go back to bam, the 24 day challenge. Okay, so hopefully, just like I said, in your the tools that you have set up, you have a 24 day challenge sitting up uh, in the living room that you can now go over the 24 day challenge. And if you're not comfortable sharing how to go over the 24 day challenge, go to advocate.com slash 24 day challenge and listen to how they share it because that's exactly how you want to say it. Don't go outside of that. Two to three minutes is all you need to share what the 24 day challenge is. Okay. Now, once you've gone over the 24 day challenge, next thing is say, hey, you know, with Advocare, we do two things. We help people improve their health through nutrition and we'll also do it through the business opportunity. But what we want you to know is that in Advocare, you have options. Okay. So now you can go to the four ways that somebody can get involved. You know, if you liked what you heard today and you, you just want to get on the 24 day challenge, it's great. You can be a retail customer. If you're like me, though, I like discounts. So uh, with Advocare, you can join. It's kind of like a Sam's Club membership, $79. They send you $60 in product. You can get 20% off your 24-day challenge and then any orders thereafter. And you can actually get up to 30% just depending on how much you order. So those two relationships, if you're just interested in product, those are there for you. No monthly minimum, no auto ship features. Uh, simply order what you want when you want it. Now, what we're going to get into just real quick, quickly is the business side of Advocare. Care. And there's two ways that you can really get involved with Advocare care on the business side is, you know, one, you can just be a hobby distributor. Maybe you like the products. You have a few people that you know could benefit from them and you're just casually sharing it. You're not doing mixers like we're doing tonight. Um, you're just getting on the phone, helping people out. And that's fine. Most hobby distributors earn between three to $500 a month. Now your business builder, the only difference between a three and a four is mindset. Okay. And a business builder and advisor, just understands that they use the systems that Advocare has in place when with truly part-time effort, you can build full-time income. Yeah, so those are the two differences there. And we don't know where you are right now. You know, you may not have even known that Advocare has a business opportunity, but we want to share that with you. Okay, so that's your intro into sharing the opportunity. So now you can share your story. Um, you know, what is it's done for you, how much you've earned, and do not hesitate. Uh, if you've only earned $30, it's $30 that you earn through Advocare. Share that. You know, now, if it took you a year to earn $30, don't share that part. All right, remember, if it's not necessary to say, it's necessary not to say it because not your experience isn't going to be the same as everyone else's. Okay, some people can move very fast in this business, some people it takes a little bit longer. But just share what it's done for you and where you're going with it's most important. But then you can share stories like Jeremiah Captain. Um, great person, great story. We love Jeremiah. We share his story all the time. Uh, so pick out a few stories in here. And then what I like to do is uh, just kind of let people know. Say, look, you know, with Advocare, the great thing about it is I didn't come up with this magazine. I don't ship product. I don't write paychecks. Uh, I don't have to worry about the relationship with the endorsers or working with the side med board or any of that stuff. Advocare takes care of it all, which makes our job fun. All we have to do is take the products, talk to people, and coach those who say yes. You know, and now you can get into the part where you're asking people, say, look, so last month, Tanya and I made $12,000. What are you doing right now in your life? You know, in the next three to five years, if nothing changes, where do you see yourself? Does that make you happy? Does it scare you? Does it concern you? Hey, now, just think if you added Advocare on a very part-time basis and made a couple hundred dollars your first year, a couple thousand dollars your next year, 20,000 plus in the third, what would your life look like then? Because the reality is, if things don't change, nothing's going to change. Okay, so those are some questions to ask. And a couple others that you could ask is, you know, three main questions. Do you love what you do? Do you get paid what you're worth? And do you see yourself doing it the rest of your life? 
Because I know for me, I loved what I did. Uh, I didn't think I got paid what I was worth. And I sure as heck didn't want to do it the rest of my life. You know, so I knew Advocare was a solution for me. Okay, so if somebody can say no to either one of those, then why not Advocare? Why not take the chance? Because there's no risk, no monthly minimum, no auto ship. You're working at your leisure. Okay, so those are just some tips uh, on using the Impact Magazine. Of course, you can change it up a bit. There are those documents that are online as well that you can share while you're going over you know, some of the stories in the Impact Magazine. The DVD, the sucker's great. Uh, what's nice about it is if you're not the type to really like to talk, hey, my kitty joined me. Um, if you're not the type to talk in front of people, you know, with very minimal uh, talking, you can use the Impact or the Tools for Your Success DVD. And all you do is just pop this in your DVD player, use your clicker and say, hey, you know what? Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we're going to share what Advocare is. I've got a couple stories that I want to share. And then on the back, you know, it lists everything that they have in there. So, you know, we like to share uh, why Advocare. Uh, we like to share, obviously, a lot of the success stories, both business and personal. Uh, the 24 Day Challenge video is on there. So if you don't want to share it yourself, you can just use the DVD. They'll do all the work for you. So this can literally do practically the whole mixer for you. It can invite people for you, but it can definitely do the mixer part, okay? All right, so let's get back. Say bye, Mia. Let's get back to the training. Okay. So now that you've got the mixer done and uh, you're thanking everybody for coming again, now you're just gonna say, hey, we're gonna hang around. If you have some questions, uh, we'll be around. But don't stand there and be like, so are there any questions? Because what you wanna allow people to do is, those who wanna leave or need to leave, you wanna give them the opportunity to leave, okay? So by saying, hey, we're gonna be around, turn the music back on, and then connect eyes with somebody. You know, during that mixer, while you're talking, you should be connecting with people and seeing who's really listening. And now you're going to go up to that person and be like, so, you know, what did you hear that interested you? The thing that you don't want to say, and this is across the board, whenever you go to an event where they watch a video, whatever it may be is, so what do you think? Because you may get, oh, well, it's cool. It was nice. Okay. Really what you're asking is, hey, what did you hear that interested you? And they may say, you know, really not interested. Or they may say, well, this part did. Okay, so you're getting to... Uh, the specific answer a lot faster so that you can, um, yeah, again, just manage your time better. So get good at asking that question. So what did you hear that interest to you? Hey, so past mixers have large events and successful. So large events are hosted by top leaders in your area. Now, if there is nobody in your area, that may just have to be you. You may have to plant your flag and do your own larger events. Typically, these are done at hotels, okay? Uh, all distributors and prospects are invited to come. There is no cost. And uh, this really helps your prospects see the bigger picture of what Advocare is about, okay? So you definitely wanna look online um, in your microsite, and then I'll, I'll share another site with you as well where you can find local events that you can plug into. Okay, success school. This is truly a must for anyone who is serious in building an advocate business. If you want to build it to the level where you're getting paid $10,000 a month or more, you need to be at successful. Heck, even if you want to earn $1,000 or more per month, you should be at successful. There's absolutely no reason you shouldn't be there. It's held twice a year. One is regional, so it should be within driving distance to you. And then one is in Dallas. Okay, uh, the regional ones, obviously they're gonna be a little bit smaller. The one in Dallas, that's where all distributors from all throughout the nation come. And you're gonna get top training from the, uh, you know, the top income earners in the company, as well as corporate staff. Uh, the sign med board is there, endorsers are there, and also additional guest speakers. So truly, there is so much value built in the success school that what you pay to get there is a fraction of what it's actually worth. 
Okay, but you also have to register and attend Success School uh, to be able to earn any of the trips. So if you want to be, you know, one of the the trip earners, well, you've got to be at Success School or at least registered for it. It's also going to get you recognized. Uh, we've noticed the more Success Schools that we've gone to, we have not missed one. Uh, we get special seating, um, you know, and, and we just get recognized more by the corporate staff because they pay attention to all that stuff. But it's also going to build confidence and, and you're going to get, meet new people. Uh, you're going to meet people from all over the nation and you're going to build additional friendships. And that's going to give you the motivation to really excel in this business. And that's what it's about. You know, you've seen building relationships on the last like five or six slides because that is what Advocare is about. Building relationships and helping people. That's what we do. And that's why we get paid very well because we know that our job is to focus on others and help others get everything that they want. And in turn, we end up getting what we want. Okay, so here's your homework. So uh, the next installment of this training is gonna be on the pay plan, okay? Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna need to make sure you have plenty of spark in you uh, as I go over that. Uh, but your homework for this one is schedule mixer you know, talk with your sponsor and schedule three-way calls or two-on-one -on -one meetings. Make sure you memorize the Bulletproof Shield and how to overcome some of those objections. Uh, and make sure you know what the success system is and how people go through it. And then go to your Advocare microsite and search the events tab and look for different events in your area. You know, or maybe you know somebody in a different state. Well, you can search that state and see what's going on. And then you can just Say, hey, John, why don't you go to this event? It's going to be, you know, about half an hour from where you live. You're going to love it. Okay. And share that with them. But you can also find additional events at championmakerstraining.com. Just click the events tab. Uh, there's also, you know, training all throughout uh, the nation. And then last but absolutely not least, purchase your success school ticket. And you can do that online through your Advocare microsite. Still gonna click that events tab and you'll see um, the success school uh, link and you can purchase your ticket. And even if you're not sure if you can be there yet, just buy your ticket. Because the reality is when you buy a ticket for something like that, you are gonna do the work necessary to make it happen. Not only to talk to your boss if you have to to get the time off, but also to make more money so that you can pay for your success school ticket. You can pay for your airline, uh, your flight, and you can pay for your hotel and any extra stuff that you do while you're there. Okay, plenty of time to do that. So you can have your entire weekend covered just by sharing Advocare with others. And of course, that is gonna carry over for years and years to come. So I hope this second portion was helpful. Uh, look forward to sharing the pay plan with you on the next installment of Basic Training 101. Have a great day.